when you think about the universe, it's too big, too large, beyond your imagination. But everybody knows this exists. It's essentially two projections which show macro and micro. The universe exploded and the universe as small as it can get. Try to mapping the whole universe. This is kind of crazy idea, but uh, if you even feel slightly that vastness of this universe, everything, you will probably feel kind of old, you know sublime, awe-inspiring. Well, Ryoji is an artist that likes you to experience his work. But he doesn't want to explain it to you. And so... <laughs> so I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm more like a composer. I love to compose something. I love to compose light, the colors, and the lines, and the dots, and numbers. So the composition is a kind of a key. So my visual art piece is pure composition. I use my palette, mathematical things, or physical things, or the, you know, quantum mechanical. So this is my colors. You know. What Ryoji does in all of his work is really try and make elements of the unknowable of our universe visual and also oral because he's a composer and a musician so it's really the bringing together of the visual and the oral that makes it a fully immersive installation that actually makes you think about those unknowable things in our universe in a completely different way. Ryoji did a residency at CERN in Switzerland, and that's when he started to explore the ideas within this work. I don't want to emphasize that the computer or mathematics, no. It's just experience, yeah. The expression is a little bit abstract, because um, you need some mystery, you know. You are watching something, but your brain cannot handle. This is uh, interesting. I like this kind of state of mind, and um, there's no really answer. He's very much always at the extreme, and I think it is quite, you know, an extreme experience in this work, but it's also um, quite meditative as well. Even though it's very technical and very mathematical, I think it gives space for reflection. I don't want to think about the emotion for the audience because, you know, if you think about the emotion, you try to control or you try to give up. Anyway, we have all this emotion. So through the artworks, I don't want to force the direction of the emotion. Sad or joy or no. Just I do my job and then let's see. I think he's just an extraordinary artist working in a scale that not many other artists are working, but also working with concepts that are very difficult and interesting and important. But the way that he visualizes them into his work make those ideas quite accessible. There's no uh perfect idea you know about the piece I do my best then people join and then we enjoy everything I make half of the piece and people complete the, the another half if I don't have any audience this is nothing <laughs> really I need people like a concert you know without audience it's nothing so it's live <laughs> <laughs> 